God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. We are Abundant Grace Church, and I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I am the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our church and ministry, or to donate to this ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. My message title today is Reduce Your Daily Stress. I will be reading from Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10. Created in Christ Jesus to do good works. My beloved if you are a Christian, God saved you through Jesus Christ to serve and not to sit on the sidelines. But even in your appointed slot, overload is possible. As Christians, we love serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Yet sometimes our attitudes stress us. The toxic mix of inadequacy and perfectionism in serving leads to burnout. It even pushes us to behave obsessively and compulsively. And in doing so, this decreases our joy and in increases our tension. At times, we feel trapped, quit and feel bad, or keep going and feel overwhelmed. So we either become overly responsible by carrying our own workload plus everyone else's, or drop out, leaving everything to others. So you may ask, my beloved, what is the solution? Well, let me give you a few points. Point number one, stop serving to please others. It's the wrong motive and it never works. And when it doesn't, you work harder for approval and end up disappointed. Paul writes in Galatians chapter 1 and verse 10, I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of God. If pleasing people were my goal, I would not be a servant of Christ. So my beloved, your well done must come from God and not from people. Two, stop serving in your own strength. Jesus said, In John chapter 5 and verse 19, the son can do nothing by himself. He does only what he sees the father doing. Whatever the father does, the son does. My beloved, like hand and glove, they move together. That's cooperation and interdependency. John chapter 15 and verse 4 says, no branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. So my beloved, This is how Paul served. He tells us in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 29, I labor, struggling with all his energy, which is so powerful as it works in me. So my beloved, Paul worked hard, but the energy was God's and not his. So remember this important thing. Your source of effectiveness and your depending on God will reduce the stress of serving. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, we know that we try to do so many things for you and do it perfectly. At times it is hard, but we feel like that's what you expect of us, but it is not. You want us to depend on you 100%. So Lord, lead us and guide us and give us the wisdom that we need to listen to your voice and to follow your guidance through the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God, for this message today. Reduce your daily stress and help us to abide by this message today. Thank you, Father, for this time of prayer as we pray in the name of our beloved Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. My beloved, have a great week and follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit through the Word of God. God bless you and go with God.